Okay, so I'm doing something a little different today. I don't usually do a lot of video recording in the mine. Um, just mainly because I, I, I like to keep all my focus on what I'm doing. So I'm not one of those YouTubers, but figured it'd be interesting to maybe do a couple of little snippets here and there of what I'm doing today. Uh, today is shoring up and uh, mucking a little bit. I got it set in there to do some uh, four by four timbers or four by four supports inside. That way we can support it further back and prevent uh, collapse or any earthquake issues or seismic issues. And uh, we're, we're about 10 feet in and I kind of cheated. I added this extra add it face uh, or add it timbering here just to give it another four feet give or take so I'm not super far in but um, for I'm getting further and further back and like I said I'm, I'm far back enough to where I think it's time to put another timber section in and uh, call it good we're gonna be using two timbers on the verticals and one timber on the horizontal and then we are going to be supporting those further with blocks to make sure it doesn't have room to sway back and forth that's very important because if the earth is shifting uh, either this or this way you want to make sure you have supports to to prevent further um, you basically just don't want the timbers inside to move at all you want them to be stable and with timbering the more weight you have on top of them from the rock and other debris or other material it's actually the stronger it is um, the strongest out there is called square set and I'm not doing square set in here because this is way too small but square set is actually where you are creating a cube structure in your entire mine and you don't see those too much in the hard rock mines you see them more in uh, the, the northern Nevada areas like Virginia City Reno and everything north and east of there just because that soil was super soft and literally you have to be careful when you're in those mines because when you're coming through the soil is literally like this it just crumbles um, so you really got to watch that but we don't have that problem here once we get inside there's a lot of this um, schist rock this is the kind of rock we're dealing with no minerals in here it's just basically a host rock for other minerals um, we haven't hit any clay or anything like that we have a couple of little quartz veins and it has decomposing quartz like this. Other than that, it's just junk rock and there's really nothing interesting in it. Every now and again, I, I hit an epidote vein and a little bit of green to it. Sometimes I get some black crystals, but nothing that I can sell. Here's a, here's a green crystal right here. So it's actually a, a pretty good description of what's in there. This is kind of what I'm after. I'm, I'm wondering if I get in far enough to where I can get a solid crystal out of this, but who knows. So without further ado, we'll go in there and get this started up and I'll try to do my best to explain what I'm doing. Okay, so here's the mine. Like I said, we're this is our standard pillaring here. This one I kind of cheated and did two pancaked two by fours, but it's plenty strong. They're bolted together very well. And then here is where we're going to be putting our timbering. We're going to be putting one pillar here, up, over, and down. And then these pillars will go and match it. And they'll be runners continuing in. And that's what it'll be. And that will give us room to further go uh, into the mountain. And then we will start taking this ceiling off just a hair and getting more of uh, our bigger planks of wood above us to support all that and this wire needs to get fixed but we'll figure that out here in a little while so step one is going to be getting our measurements and making sure we are all shored up and good to go on measurements and then cutting and placing and all that so not a whole lot of room in here our ceiling's not very tall so it's very very tight in some spots but once i get all this dug out gonna be pretty good so currently my actual working height from my ground level is about three feet three inches and then over here when I get my timbers up it's gonna be a little bit more so we're looking a 
we're actually looking pretty deep here. Mosquitoes. I'm about four feet up to the bottom of the post. Okay, so we've got it uh, short up a good amount to start proceeding forward again. And I don't feel like if anything goes, it's gonna be a terrible disaster. Um, definitely gonna have to take this ceiling up a little bit at some point because I want wood above my head. Just nice to know that there's a uh, fail safe there and everything's been 
pretty tightly shimmed in. These ain't moving. And I could probably put another one. I gotta shore up so it's pressed on this side of here on the wood. I'll show you what I mean. When we're when I'm shoring things, we need to make sure that there's a piece of wood in between every possible angle that this thing um, could possibly be involved with. And one of the angles that's important is the back side. So to do that, uh, we basically just, I'm putting a bunch of these panels here and the weight of the dirt is pressing up against the post and preventing it from going back. And then my cap at the top prevents them from coming in. There's actually a lot of weight on this, this angle right here. Um, and we just got to figure out something there because there's that one little screw holding that in but uh, when I put a shimmy here to press it in that will be more in than wanting to come out so that should fix that issue and uh, as far as just general structuring we're kind of where we need to be like I said the only thing left is to do the, the roof but we got some good timbering in here now and uh, I don't think that we're gonna have an issue with the ceiling coming in in this area right here we're definitely looking good and all this moving forward is pretty much rock uh, this is all rock here so I don't know if I'll be able to continue forward with this rock but we're gonna try it and uh, we'll maybe do some blasting and see how that goes but uh, other than that we're really looking pretty good and we're uh, we're just getting about finished here and some more shoring here hopefully i can get some of the dirt tucked behind here to help with the back side of this and uh yeah so cut this off a little bit so i don't nail my head on it and that's all we can do see ya